Hey guys! In this video, I'm going to be sharing a couple of apps that I personally think are very useful. Some of these apps are available only on Mac, but I'll suggest some alternative ones that are available on other operating systems if they are. The first app is called Drop Zone. This app allows you to have an organized working environment by making it easier to move, copy, and open files. For example, if I wanted to quickly move a file from my downloads into a commonly used folder, I can easily do so by dragging and dropping it instead of searching through Finder and digging through a bunch of folders. You can also perform several customizable actions, like opening AirDrop, shortening URLs, and more. This app will definitely enhance your efficiency. Unfortunately, it's only available on Mac and I couldn't find any alternatives. The next app is Self Control. Self Control is a very popular app that allows you to block certain websites for a set period of time by adding the website to your blacklist to avoid distractions when trying to get work done. Self Control is only available on Mac, but an alternative is called Freedom, which is available on Mac and Windows. The next app is Friends. Friends is a free messaging app where you can link several messaging accounts such as WhatsApp, Instagram, Facebook Messenger, and Slack. By doing so, you can access all your messages in a single location instead of opening several different apps and windows. The free version lets you connect three accounts and I chose Gmail, Facebook Messenger, and Discord. But if you upgrade the app, you can connect an unlimited number of accounts. This is only available on Mac, but an alternative is Rambox for Mac, Windows, and Linux. Anki is a great flashcard program that uses spaced repetition to help you study by increasing memorization rate. Anki does so by bringing you back cards that you're likely to forget and is great if you're memorizing a lot of material. There are also a lot of add-ons you can add to customize the experience. It also pairs with a corresponding phone app for on-the-go studying. Anki is available on all operating systems. Flux is an app that changes the color of your computer screen based on the time of day, turning your screen warm at night and more like sunlight during the day. Reducing the amount of blue light at night can help you sleep better, and you can adjust the settings on the app to fit your time zone or schedule. Flux is available on most operating systems. Be Focused is a focus timer that allows you to break up your tasks into intervals that are separated by short breaks. This app is perfect for the Pomodoro technique, which is 25 minutes of work separated by short breaks. However, you can customize the duration. I like to change the settings so that my work intervals are a bit longer. Be Focus is only available on Mac, however, there are a lot of alternative apps and websites compatible on other operating systems. I prefer Be Focused over Pomodoro websites because I like how I don't have to open a bunch of things to access it and how I can see the amount of time I have left on my timer directly on my menu bar. Itzikal is a tiny menu calendar app that syncs with the default Mac calendar app. It can display the day of the week on the menu bar as well as an overview of the month and any events you have throughout the week. This makes it really easy to stay on top of things. OneNote is a great note-taking app. It will sync through with all your devices and works with any note-taking style. For example, you can annotate directly on slides, type a cider, or just regularly type notes. One of my favorite things about OneNote is the organization system. It makes it really easy to find your notes because you can create different notebooks, sections, and pages. Paste is an app that saves your clipboard history. I'm sure we've all been in a scenario where you wish you could remember what you copied several copies ago or had to go back onto a site or your notes to recopy something. Paste also allows you to paste multiple items, paste as plain text, and create categories where you can drag and sort things you've copied for easy access later. Your clipboard history can also be synced across all your devices. I also like how Pace shows the source of your copied material. For example, if I copy something off of Chrome, you can see here that it shows the Chrome logo. 
Unfortunately, Pace is not free and is only available on Mac. However, there are other clipboard history saving apps that are available, such as Clippy on Mac and Ditto or Recent X on Windows. Lastly, Spot Menu. Spot Menu displays the current song you're playing on Spotify or iTunes on your menu bar. It gives you a quick and easy way to skip a song or view the song that is playing without opening the Spotify app. This is my favorite app because I'm always listening to music when I'm studying and it's really nice to just see the song that's playing at the top. I hope these apps were helpful and will help increase your productivity and efficiency. If you like this video, please hit the thumbs up button and subscribe if you're interested in more videos like this. Thanks for watching!